what it do cosmic crew like comment and subscribe if you're new without further ado i've got another video for you so my next cancer as you can see is safari i've never done a reading on safari that i'm aware of in any circumstance or situation i might have pulled on his energy in a Nicki minaj reading or something but it's cancer season he's a cancer so let's see. Who is Safari? Who is Safari? Honey. Let us see. Who is Safari? Samuel? Who is Safari? I feel like he he loves his female friends. He's the type of guy he'll treat you better if you're a friend. Once you start putting like regulations and stipulations and requirements and shit, that's when it. But like if you're his friend, it's like he's in the air force. Okay, he's he's like in service. All right, he's enlisted to defend your honor. As long as you're his friend. He's, I'm sitting, somebody here's a thought, okay? Um, very kind of shy. He's a bit of a homewrecker, very promiscuous. Or he, he seems to attract female energy that is this way, okay? He's kind of shy. Like he'll backdoor somebody, okay? It's the type of nigga that'll fuck your bitch. All right. I feel like he. Now he seems really goofy. But I feel like Safari, he low key, he'll whoop somebody ass. Like he play real um. Laid back, cool, kind of aloof. Right, but there's something here, like he's real ru rude boy. <laughs> He could get real blunt. He's silent but deadly, okay? I feel like he's definitely focused on his business, his legacy, right? I feel like I'm seeing a machete. So I don't know if he's real good with knives or something like that. And he got hitters. There's something here about him being a lot more aggressive than he carries himself to be. I feel like he, he trusts feminine energy more than men. Okay? Like, females are his friends. Males are his associates. He's a very free spirit. Um, this is energy of not really holding grudges, being a little reckless, okay, very innovative as well. He's tied in with the upper echelon for sure. There may be some health concerns here. I keep getting that with these cancers. Um, like he has a he has a problem with boundaries, either overstepping people's boundaries or having his own. Okay, but he's very good at playing the vic victim, especially when he feels overwhelmed. He might have a a problem with the anxiety. I feel like he like the laughter and the goofiness that you see is more like nervous tendencies. I feel like he's kind of more scared of himself than anybody else. There's something about the occult here. I feel like he's trying to like move up in rank. Something about divine timing. Or waiting for some type of time for him to like initiate. 
What did they hear about, um... Being a bit materialistic, not really in touch with nature and the earth. Are, are using elements from the earth for evil occult practices? There's something here about needing a spiritual cleanse and to meditate. I feel like you also may need an outlet to speak or to like get thoughts and ideas off his chest, whether it's journaling, okay, meditation, or maybe these are things he's doing. It's like he's waiting on some type of divine intervention, but he's going about it in like not the most divine ways. It's kind of demonic. Especially when you start dealing with the upper echelon. I keep flashing back to when he got robbed. There's something here about being haunted. Some nightmares. Y'all y'all see me shuffle like I keep I keep picking up this energy on these cancers. It's like they do these things to move up in rank or in, in like in these societies to open these doors and they be haunted by the shit. And they can't sleep. Something about sleep paralysis. And they, they don't know who to trust. <laughs> There's an Aries. Also something about his blood pressure. He might need contacts or glasses. There's this very, I don't know if it's this Aries. There's this very bitter, wrathful energy, okay? I'm, I'm feeling like a, a male friend. Feeling like he's surrounded by crabs in a barrel or in a bucket. Yeah, there's some secret enemies around him. Like I said, either he he's the shysty one and he's been backdooring people or he knows that there's people around him that will do so. There's some backstabbers. I feel like he there's a lot of competition, a lot of pride, a lot of betrayal, a lot of secret enemies. I got enemies. Got a lot of enemies. <laughs> There's something about having to rebuild. From some type of um catastrophe. The hospital. Something about the hospital or procedure. I don't know if he, he may be facing or he was facing some type of legal trouble. This is something here about jail or house arrest. Or maybe feeling like he he can't move how he wants to and he's kind of stuck. But anyway. Safari, what's up with you and Erica? I just seen him at the baby birthday party. Right, that's good. What's up with you and Erica? We got the same gender lovers in reverse.
We got the Hierophant, the Page of Pentacles. I don't feel like he wanted to get a, a divorce. I don't feel like he wanted to get a divorce. But there's definitely something here about not really doing much monetarily. I'm not saying that he's not an active father, but he, he's definitely like... <laughs> Penny pinching, okay? I feel like he also is like, may have wanted more kids. What's this lovers in reverse? Seven of Pentacles. The Fool. I feel like it may have been, it may have been threesome. Okay, he may have wanted to have like an open poly relationship or something. Or somebody might be bisexual here. But I feel like there was definitely extracurricular activities going on that it's like he always wanted some new pussy or something new. And maybe he felt like, oh, we could bring it into our bedroom and spice things up. And with this, with this higher friend, it's like really wanting a marriage. I don't know if that's just the island thing. I've never... I've never dated or talked to a Jamaican man, so. Eight of Swords in reverse. This has a lot to do with the criticism. Feeling like she does kind of control the narrative. Okay. But it's like feeling hostage in a relationship and wanting to break free but not wanting to divorce. Nine of Swords in reverse. I feel like deep down he there's this guilt there. There's this guilt. There's this shame. She might have put something on him. As well. I feel like we have a Scorpio here. Yeah, she 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 might have put some roots on them. I don't know. I don't know. How you feel about Nikki? How you feel about Nikki Safari? Ten of Swords. <laughs> Ten of Swords. Damn. Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Does the Safari like Drake? I keep hearing Drake. The good ones go. The good ones go when you wait too long. Something like that. So cry if you need to. But I can't seem to ask you. It's the wrong thing to do. We live in a generation of not being in love. But we still make you feel like we're together. Cause we hate to see somebody with somebody else. So cry if you need to. But I can't stand and watch you. Look, love is on the bottom. Child. Really feeling like he dropped the ball, okay? But it's like, like I said before, there's this victimhood mentality. It's like not really being accountable for the positions or parts that he may have played. But yeah, definitely feeling, um, I feel like she's someone that he can't really get off his mind, especially with this Ten of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, feeling like, maybe he feels like she owes him money? But I also feel like she was a bit too independent for him. How we live in a generation of not being in love. We still, I don't remember the words, but we sure make it feel like we're together. All right, until next time.